We're live. We're going live. This is Trainer Joe here for Facebook Live. Today we're going to talk about you can be busy and healthy. First, let's start out with a couple of practical things. One is we just need to learn how to be reasonable in the way we eat and the way we move. How are we going to do that? Well, one thing you can do is prepare ahead of time. Tomorrow's going to be busy, right? So the night before, think about it and prepare a little bit. Right, And one of the things you can do is what I do when I get extra busy and I plan on taking a cooler with me. And in my little cooler, this is a little cooler, I put a little ice pack. You can get these plastic things or you can put ice in it. And I might have an apple and some walnuts and maybe a Kirkland bar or a Quest bar. Maybe, maybe even some deli meat or hard-boiled egg or if you got your... Um, Progresso lentils or apple pie filling, that's a joke. I don't put these in there. But the other stuff you can put in there. Take some food with you so you're not stuck going to Dairy Queen and getting a blizzard. You, you've got something to sustain you. Okay, so that's something practical. Another thing would be create a quick and easy workout. Quick and easy. If, if you can't get you to do a quick and easy, you're not going to do more than that. So let's find something that's quick, that's easy. You can do it in 20 to 30 minutes and get it done. You feel good. You got something accomplished and it's affecting your body. One last little practical thing is trade a little bit of your TV time and Facebook time for some workout time. There you go. Very practical. I guarantee this isn't going to happen. I can give you all the practical tips in the world and it's not going to change anything if we don't get you to change the way you think. The way you think is the reason you don't exercise and eat right. It's not your surroundings. It's not because of how busy you are and it's not your metabolism. It's the way you think. For example, I was working with Heather and I challenged her. She was going to lose weight and get healthier. I said, Heather, if you'll work out 20 minute walk or more for seven days in a row along with a few other things I'll give you a prize a trainer Joe shirt she was excited and on the last day she came in I was going to give her the shirt she said she didn't get her exercise in that seventh day and I was like are you kidding me why not and she gave me all these reasons single mom had to pick up her son from school lost her keys all this stuff she didn't win her prize a few days later she told me she said i was upset with you for not giving me the prize under the circumstances when it was so hard for me not to get my exercise in but then i realized she said she was in the military for two years and in the military they exercised every day it's called pt she said and in the military we did it every day because it was a standard in the military it's just part of who we are and it needs to become part of who you are or no practical tips or less busy or more busy is going to affect you if it's not in your mind that it makes sense. People who exercise and eat right are not busier or less busy than you. It's the way they think. What are you, Elon Musk? You run the two companies on opposite ends of the country and you don't have time to do it? Even if you are, it de it's not dependent on how busy you are. Is it reasonable for you to go around 50 pounds overweight, eating junk all the time because you're busy? Or would it be crazier to not figure out how to do this? Is it going to be reasonable for you 20 years from now to say, well, I never figured it out. I was just always heavy and had high blood pressure, a couple heart attacks and stents and see the CPAP machines and uh, just... And, uh, well, let's take it to an extreme. You busy? All right. What if we could work it out to where you don't even have to get out of bed? You just stay in bed. You get your computer there and you start working as soon as you wake up. Let's put a toilet right next to your bed so you don't have to move very far and you just, you just don't move. Just get all your busy work done and then when it's time to go to bed, you're already in the bed. When you see, that's called death by sitting. We got to move, y'all. When you see high blood pressure, as more dangerous than swimming with sharks. Suddenly, it just makes sense to get up and move. Don't tell me that your high blood pressure runs in your family. If you're 50 pounds overweight, don't tell me it runs in your family. Or diabetes runs in your family and you're 50 pounds overweight. You really don't want to hear that. Let's, how do you know it's not your weight? How's the only way you're going to know if it's your weight or not? And that's lose the weight. Finally, 
if you're busy, you got to look at what you're eating as a piece of time. For example, when we were at Red Lobster, good example, we were at Red Lobster with family and friends and they bring out Cheddar Bay Biscuits and my mother-in-law looks at me and says, aren't you going to eat a Cheddar Bay Biscuit? And I said, well, you know, I've got a, a salad coming with croutons, shredded cheddar cheese and ranch dressing, and then I got a salmon and broccoli and a potato coming with sour cream and butter. So when I consider the Cheddar Bay Biscuit, it seems weird not to eat one or two or three. But it's also weird for Trainer Joe to not be able to tuck in his shirt because he doesn't want people to see his belly. You got to decide what's more weird. How big do you want to be? Do you have time to eat Cheddar Bay Biscuits? Not if you're busy, because you know how long you're going to have to work out to burn that up? Much less the cheesecake and three Dr. Peppers. What do you want to do? Just get reasonable. You're too busy to eat the crap you eat. If busy is really one of your reasons. So if you need help with this, the mind change, we have a free event coming up Thursday, October the 3rd at Frankfurt Country Club. Come on over. It's at 7 o'clock. We'll put some details in the comments. I'm Trainer Joe helping you train your brain and transform your body.